What is going on outlaws, Michael or Legacy Killer HD here and we are once again discussing Red Dead Redemption 2 and today we have some of the latest news, we're going to be breaking that down, but we're also going to be going over some Grand Theft Auto news that may include a Grand Theft Auto 5 story DLC finally coming. But as usual, if you've missed any of the past Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, make sure you check out the link in the description to the playlist, a lot of news, information, and theories that you're not going to want to miss. And also recently on my second channel, I just launched my Red Dead Redemption walkthrough series, so give that a look if you're interested. Nonetheless, let's start with some of the information this is coming from take two ceo and he gave us some indication of what to expect with red dead redemption 2. speaking at an mkm partners event take two ceo strauss Zelnick was asked about red dead redemption success and how it would carry over to red dead redemption 2. And this is what he had to say the conventional wisdom was of course that a western wouldn't work Zelnick said about the first game we took a different point of view which is that very occasionally westerns capture the imagination of the public when we launched red dead it did and those times were right for that and i think times are right for a big sprawling optimistic view of america again and that's not meant to be cute. And Zelnick also teased that Red Dead Redemption 2 will offer incredible emotional depth and more, and you can expect there to be great story elements and great gameplay elements. And as some of you may recall, just about two weeks ago at a conference call with investors, Strauss Zelnick was asked about Red Dead Redemption 2 and if he could reveal any details, and he did not. He said that there was nothing he could reveal, so it's definitely interesting seeing that he's a change in tune. Hopefully that's indication that Rockstar Games could be revealing something very soon. But some of you may be asking yourself, what do these comments mean? And the first takeaway comes from the ending of his first quote, and it's that it will be a big, sprawling, optimistic view of America again, and that's not meant to be cute. Now, that comment alone gives us some indication that the game's going to be vast and huge, which obviously almost all Rockstar games are, but I think the most interesting part is when he describes the game as being an optimistic view of America again. Now, could this be indication that the Native American wars that were happening at the time may have just ended, or could the Industrial Revolution finally be taking a role on the West? I think it's a very interesting comment that I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below, but this alone makes me wonder if the wild Wild West is really going to be that chaotic, or maybe this just means that we won't be seeing any huge conflicts alike to the Mexican Revolution that we saw in Red Dead Redemption. But there was one other comment that Zelnick made that I want to discuss, and that's when he teased that Red Dead Redemption 2 will be offering an incredible emotional depth. With John Marston's tale of redemption, I think a lot of us were torn and sad by the ending of the game, but it was a remarkable story. That's why this comment alone makes me excited to see the story of Red Dead Redemption 2. It definitely feels like Rockstar Games will bring us justice for the story mode, and I'm sure that the online portion of the game is going to be just as good. But now let's move to the next part of this video discussing some of the other latest news coming about RDR2. And Rockstar Games recently upgraded their website, they have about 40 new banners on there, and one of them has caught the attention of a lot of Red Dead fans, some of them saying that this could be the map of Red Dead Redemption 2, or at least a portion of it. And I think it's very interesting, but at the same time, I think it's just veins or arteries. Definitely can see the mix-up, but I don't think it's related to Red Dead Redemption 2 at all. But the other news topic that we have is something that we discussed last week, and it's the website of a former Rockstar Games employee, and he gave us an idea of how long the game's been in development for, and it looks to be that Rockstar Games forced him to take down this information, which is going along with all the leaks that have come about this next Red Dead game. Everything that's been leaked, the original poster has been forced to delete. But now to our last topic of the day, and this is some Grand Theft Auto V story DLC information, and it looks to be that Rockstar Games may be planning to resurrect a project that they had cancelled. And this is coming from Yan2295, who I've discussed in the past, he reveals a lot of information from Rockstar, and it looks to be that he has a source within Rockstar who gave him some information. And this is what he had to say. I recently got some new information that I gotta admit is very surprising, but also very interesting. Remember how I kept saying that the single player DLC is no longer a thing? That they basically cancelled it and forgot about it and instead used some of it in their efforts on GTA Online updates? Well, apparently upper management are starting to seriously consider bringing it back, even though it will only come after Red Dead Redemption 2 launches, and maybe not right after, it could be a while. As we kinda guessed with a few things that we found about in the files a while ago, mostly by fun, they already had quite a lot of work done before they scrapped it. I was told it was 60-70% to 70 complete, mo cap tech animations and voiceovers are done, basically the biggest part of the job is done, completing it would not be that hard. And Yan also continues discussing some of the other possibilities, maybe this means that we could be getting some more Grand Theft Auto Online DLC until this comes out, but if this is the case, I can't say I'm too surprised being that we already knew that Rockstar Games was working on a story expansion, but we hadn't heard about it in a long time. Sean Fontero, who plays Franklin, was posting on his Instagram and showing off some images of him shooting mocap at Rockstar, so we know that he was working on something. The other voice actors of Trevor and Michael pretty much stayed quiet on all of that, and maybe that's an indication that this is a Franklin-only DLC, because if you remember, by the ending of Grand Theft Auto V, there's only one character who survives all endings, and that's Franklin. And if you recall earlier this year from a Rockstar Game employee's portfolio, we found Liberty City in the Grand Theft Auto V engine, so maybe this is an indication that Liberty City is finally coming as maybe a story expansion to Grand Theft Auto V. I think that'd be very interesting. And there's always the possibility of going to Las Venturas or San Fierro. But anyway, Outlaws, I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop down in the comments 
let me know what your thoughts on the topics that we discussed today. And if you have not already, go over to my second channel, check out the walkthrough series for Red Dead Redemption. We're on episode 3 now. And consider subscribing here for a lot more Red Dead Redemption 2 news and information. And remember, Outlaws to the end.